As you can see, I'm surrounded by green. Well, I'm not, I'm not surrounded by green, but we are sponsored by the good people at Wash & Go today. The lovely people at Wash & Go. What am I on about good people? And people often say to me, Mark, is it not hard being a Wash & Go ambassador? And I always have to say, reply to them like this. Being a rocket engineer is hard. Just ask Elon Musk. Being Manchester United manager is hard. Just ask the four managers that have taken over since Alex Ferguson. Being an NHS worker, that's hard. Heroes. That, that, that is really hard. But being a shampoo ambassador is as easy as taking a bath. It really is. So next time you're having a really hard day, just run a bath, light some candles, put on some relaxing music and lath lather up with Wash & Go. Classic Wash & Go. You can pick up your bottle at any good retailer or by hitting the link in the description and getting it delivered straight to your door. Thanks very much to Wash & Go for supporting the United Stand. Now let's move on with the show. And remember, Wash & Go, it's invisible. It's bloody, it's invisible. Harry Maguire is apparently not starting this game due to injury. Now, there is lots of speculation about what might happen. Will Phil Jones start? Um, it's funny, I was on Twitter today and I said, Harry Maguire is definitely not starting. And somebody replied and went, well, now you're going to get what you want, aren't you? And you're going to miss him. And I went, well, I don't know. I wanted Harry Maguire to get dropped. I did not say I want Harry Maguire to get dropped for Phil Jones. For me, that's like having a bucket with a hole in it and replacing it with a sieve. Like, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I would like to see Harry Maguire dropped for Lindelof or Bayi. I never said I'd want to see Harry Maguire drop for Phil Jones. So if Phil Jones does play tonight, we might all be begging Harry Maguire come to, to start for the next game. But um, there is a talk of Harry, uh, of Eric Bayi being in uh, Jones, Shaw. Matic McTominay, Sancho Greenwood, Ronaldo Cavani. Now, if that is the correct team, I'm very worried about this team. I'm very worried about it. And I'm not going to lie, very worried about that United 11 I've just seen. And I'm live. I'm just, I'm writing out my tweets because I find I tweet better when I'm talking. Um, so, yes, if that is the true team, I'm absolutely terrified. I'm terrified and I'm not going to lie because I don't lie. I, I give it as it is. And um, Ranić seems to have an obsession with not changing a winning team, which I don't agree with. For me, Bruno should have started in this game. Um, and I'm I'm worried. I'm worried about that. I don't think that that... I don't trust Greenwood and Sancho to put the work rate in. I don't trust Matic and McTominay against um, what Wolves have got. And I'm, I'm worried about the midfield battle. But in Ralph, we trust, says Christian. Um, and it, remember, your super chats will go up on the screen now, like Rob Quince there. But um, Mark's not happy because his boy Bruno is not playing. Not at all, Abdi. I, you know, I, I hate it when people put words into my mind. Because I do not... Um, I do not... Let's see what happens. Lovely play by Semadu to start off with. And uh, Wolves putting a cross in. Phil Jones heads it away. Oh, I'll give him man of the match. It was like prime Bobby Moore. Uh, I can understand why Jones is in. Ranjik is just giving one chance before chucking him out. No, we, yeah, Pranav, we can't afford to do that. Thanks for all the super chat. I don't think, I don't think Phil Jones is knackered. He's just got that sort of a face. Um Neves. Oh, another good save. De Gea again. Fletcher in the technical area says Luke Darling. De Gea man of the match again already. Two good saves. Good shot by Neves. It wasn't quite Kovacic, but it was uh, it was decent. It was a good save. That was a better save than the first one. So Maguire's, uh, De Gea's made two saves already here. And uh, you're not... Oh, my God. Another one. No one. That was wild. That's not going to be uh, 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 causing us any problem. Um, let's have a look at this again. I think this is a great shot by Neves, and uh, it's a great save by. Neves. It's Phil Jones. He's on a mad one. Don't go mad, Phil. Good ball by Wambasaka. Here we go. Oh, it was nearly into the path of Ronaldo by Cavani. That all started from Phil Jones. And he's done it again. He's, 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 he's on a mad one, Phil Jones. He's just made a great tackle. Greenwood. Oh, 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 he nearly got through. Greenwood nearly got through there. Throw in. Nice ball. They've got they've got options. Pedance. Again, they, they, the good thing about... Oh, my shite. Oh, my Christ. Ronaldo nearly slipping in uh, Raul Jimenez. 
Oh, what a chance. I think it would have been offside anyway. Ronaldo tries to head it back to De Gea and he heads it to um, um, Jimenez. And he would have been onside because it's Ronaldo who, well, he would have been offside from the shot maybe. Ronaldo heads it back. He's off. He's, he's offside there though. Misses the Villa game. I nearly cheered. <laughs> I can imagine if I'd done that. He's missing the Villa game. Every cloud. Um, but he's a prat. I didn't even know that he was on. I didn't even know that was going to happen. Even more of a prat putting in a stupid foul like that. Matinho with the cross. Added away. Over Ronaldo. We're just, we're just, we're just wait. You know what? We can win this game. We can be sat here at full time celebrating a massive three points. It's quite simply because Wolves can't score goals. That's my only hope in this game. Performance wise, we don't deserve it, but we can win this game because Wolves can't score, and we've we've not created a big chance yet. We haven't. You know, I'm just waiting for that one big chance for United, and then we score it and we win. Honestly, embarrassing and disturbing, says David. Cristiano need Cruz, Modric, Casemiro. He's taking Greenwood off. Greenwood off for Bruno. I, I disagree with that. But I don't know whether he's... He's certainly not took his tracksuit off yet. I just saw him running behind Sancho. Goal! Oh, he's at the Denver. Bruno's at the Denver. Oh, I thought that was a goal. Matic with a great cutback and we've just smacked the bar. Oh, bloody hell. I mean, not, I'm not saying that we deserve it or not, but uh, foul here by Moutinho and Phil Jones. And Bruno nearly, nearly. I mean, should he have scored? You've got to say when you get a chance in the box, but yeah, he should score. But to be honest with you, he's so bloody close to scoring. He's almost hit it too well because the keeper's probably saving it if he puts it a little bit lower than that. Might even be worse than Ollie, says Justin Brown. Anyway, free kick to United. First chance to really whip across him. We've not had any corners, have we, Ronaldo? Yes! Ooh! He scores a goal. It's 1-0 to Manchester United. Captain, no. It's offside. It's bloody offside. Passion killer. It's like turning the lights on. He is miles off, Ronaldo. Oh, he just doesn't get back on side. Uh, around doing nothing, no press, no pass, nothing. He can't even track his player. Sad he's a starter. Well, he won't play against Villa in the league. So maybe if we play well against Villa, we, we'll, we can drop him for good. Oh, you know what then? I nearly got the biggest sit down of my life. I nearly got the biggest sit down of my life. McTominay went on a run like bloody Lionel Messi. He nearly scored. I mean, it doesn't really take anybody on. He just he just opens up for him. But I I, I tell you what, I'd have, I'd have happily sat down then. He nearly he nearly had a chance to score. Uh, like Ricky and and think he speaks a lot of sense, but hopefully he can now see tactical foul by Matt. No, he didn't need to make a tactical foul because Varane was there. He doesn't need to make that tackle in that position. Uh, it's a decent free kick. I've seen. Um, Wolf score a free kick here before he's at the bar. He's at the bar with the free kick. Good. Bloody good. Says. No, the day I, I think Dyer had it covered anyway. He's overplayed it again. Fucking Shaw was on the overlap. The cross was on and he fucks about with it again. When's he going to learn? You've been dropped for two games, mate. Play the bloody simple ball. When is he going to learn? Well done, Phil Jones. Oh, no. Matinho. Fuck off! Piss off! No! No! Toss 
tossers! Fucking tossers! Bloody tossers! And I hate to say it, Phil Jones' header is shit. But where's the midfield? You can't, you can't do that, Phil. He's had a good game, but you can't head it to a Wolves player on the edge of the box. Phil Jones gets the assist, but... I can, and, I, you know, what a surprise. What a surprise a midfielder wins it. What a surprise. Shit! They're absolutely shit. And I tell you what... You should be ashamed of yourself if you were one of the prats after Burnley going, ooh, sit down, McSauce, McSauce. I wouldn't put McSauce on a shit. One good get one good game against Burnley and you fell for it, you prats. Fred was man of the match against Palace. Consistently crap. And now he's bringing a langer on. No, Donny, not, not changing the midfield. No, we're not going to change the midfield. Let's bring another bloody striker on. Bloody hell. Right, Bruno's got to score this. Ronaldo, please don't hit this. It's not your range. Jones needs to start over Maguire. Bruno's got to hit this. It's got to be Bruno. Oh, he does. Keeper makes the save. Cavani. And they had it out. And that's it. Man United lose. 1-0. You shower of shit, bastards. Shit off. Fucking useless. Absolutely bloody useless. And look, forget about Donny van der Beek. What about Fred? You're telling me Fred couldn't do a better job than McTominay and Matic tonight. It's not just 